Greetings and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode we're going to add a keyboard layout switcher back to the panel and that way we'll be able to switch between keyboards. So let's get right into it. Now I actually received this question from Mr. X and Mr. X asks, Hi, I have a computer in English, which is what I want, but I want to change the keyboard between English and Thai. Is that possible? Well, Mr. X, you've come to the right place because that is indeed possible, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Right, so if you go down to your panel and just right click and then hover over panel and then go up to panel preferences and then jump over to the items tab and I'll just drag this window bigger so we can see what we're doing. And then go over to the add new item plus sign and just click that. And then here we have the keyboard layout. So just select that and then click add and then close. And as you can see in the panel, the keyboard layouts launcher has been placed at the end of the panel. This is it here. So if you just use your arrow key and I'm just gonna move it to the left of the clock. So I'll just click that a couple of times. And I see there's actually a little gap that I would like to put in there. So I'll just quickly jump back into the add new item again and then scroll down this list till I find a separator and just click that, click add and close. And then select the separator and let's place the separator in between the flag and the pulse audio icon. So I'll just select it here in the panel preferences, use the arrow keys and just move it along the panel. There we go, perfect. Cool, so we're done with the panel preferences. We can close that. And now if you go over to your keyboards layout launcher, and just right click that, go up to keyboard settings, and then jump over to the layout tab, and here we can actually add other keyboard layouts to our keyboard layout launcher. So I'll just click the add button, and then scroll down this list until we find tie. Here it is there, so I'll just select that and click OK and then close and that's all we have to do so now by clicking the keyboard layouts voila we have changed that to Thai so now that we have the Thai layout on our keyboard we can also add the language back by just right clicking on the desktop and then select launch peppermint settings panel and then click language support and then click on install remove languages and scroll down this list until we find Thai here it is there, so I'll just select that, click apply, and then add in your password. And we can expand the details if you'd like to watch the process take place. And now if we scroll down this list, you'll find that the Thai language has been added to language support. Now if you jump over to regional formats and then click and hold this drop down menu and then go down to this arrow down the bottom and here we can select Thai there as well. So I'll just select that. And now as you can see the date and the currency has changed to the Thai format. So that's pretty much all you need to do. And if you wanted to change it back, all you have to do is click this drop down menu hover over this arrow up here and then select the format that you'd like to change back to. So I'll select Australia again and as you can see down here in the example it's changed back to the Australian format. So that's pretty much all you need to do. So I'll close out of there and then close the peppermint settings panel and so currently I still have the Thai format selected for my keyboard. So to change it back to the US format, which is what I'm using on my computer, you just have to click that once. And that's it, we have now changed it back to the US keyboard layout. And there we go, we are all done. So Mr. X, I hope that helps you. I'll just quickly put a reply. Um, I've just made a video showing how to be able to change keyboard layouts and I'll also put a link to that in the comments so thanks Mr X and I've got a few more questions so I'll actually do a few more videos while I'm at it 
to hopefully be able to help other people with tech related issues. So thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.